Okay, today we're gonna do a lash lift. So I'm gonna get you to close your eyes and we're just gonna give it a little cleanse with the Bee Pampered Cleanser first. Make sure they're all nice and clean. You wanna make sure that your client is not wearing contacts and is not wearing false eyelashes. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to look all the way up for me. So we wanna tape down the bottom lashes. This just makes it easier so we don't get them caught up on the rod later. It's okay, mm -hmm. does it feel like it's pinching in the corner? Nope. Okay, so I'll get you to close your eyes. So just make sure you get all of the top lashes out from under there. So now we're gonna choose our rod size and we're gonna ask our client what kind of lift they wanna have. Are you looking for more of a dramatic effect or are you wanting sort of more of a natural lift? Natural. Natural, okay. Okay, to close. So this is a large rod. I'm gonna test it out first and pull the lashes back. Now her lashes aren't quite coming back far enough to make much of a difference. So I'm gonna change it to a medium rod. And the smaller the rod, the more of the lift. So each client's different because they each have different lengths of lashes. So you want to test before you do the lift. So those are coming back about three-fourths of the way up the rod. That's what we're looking for. So I'm going to choose a medium rod for this. So apply a little bit of the Lashby glue onto the bottom of the shield or rod. and let it dry for about 10 to 15 seconds before you apply it to the lid. We don't have a hooded lid today, but if somebody has a little bit of excess skin here, you can definitely use some tape to pull the lid up to make it easier for yourself. So when applying the shield, we want to make it as close to the lash line as possible. And if you push down on the shield, you should be able to move the lashes. And hold that for about 10 seconds. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. So make sure you've got all the lashes out from underneath the rod we don't want to get them kinked up in there. So now you take your glue and just do a small little section. Apply it generously to the shield. So you want to wait for about five seconds just to let it get a little tacky. And start lifting the lashes until they start sticking. Then you can use your Y comb to separate the lashes while the glue is still movable. Now this part is very important. We want them all to be nice and separate because we don't want any lashes to be crisscrossed over because wherever we put the lashes, once we put the perm solution on, that's where they're gonna stay. So you can add a little bit more glue. We don't wanna go too much with the glue because we don't want it to get goopy.
So I'm gonna remove her tape. You can either leave it on or you can remove it, whatever you find is easier. I'm just gonna remove it just to show you here that I've got a couple of her bottom lashes stuck up on the rod. So you just wanna kinda go and separate that. Because the worst part would be to have lashes sticking in your eyeball. We don't want that. So this will get easier with time. Just take your time and make sure that they're all separated. I like to put an extra layer of the glue right on the tips of the lashes. This just helps with over-processing. We don't want the perm solution to touch the tips because then you're gonna get frizzy edges. So again, you just wanna make sure you don't have any bottom lashes stuck in the top. And if you see any little tiny baby hairs sticking out, just leave them. Those are the baby hairs. We don't really wanna over-process those. First, you wanna set your timer to six minutes. You wanna take your lash bee package and squeeze out a small amount of the lash perm. And you wanna apply it from the root not touching the skin to about a third of the way up the lash. Once you've finished applying it to the first eye, you can start your timer and move to the next eye. So once your timer has gone off, we want to remove the excess lotion but we don't wanna pull it all the way to the end of the lash. We wanna just lift it off. Then I like to use a damp Q-tip and gently just rub on the base of the lash, just to stop any activation. And you can see here that the glue is starting to lift. And that's okay, just be very gentle with it. So then we wanna take number two lash B, and in the same manner, Apply it to the base and a third way up the lashes. And start your timer for five minutes. And then apply the other eye. So once your timer has gone off, we want to remove lotion number two in the same way we did with lotion number one, being careful not to take it to the tip of the lash. This time you can take a little bit more water on your Q-tip because we wanna start lifting that glue off the rod. So now to remove the glue, we want a wet Q-tip, not so wet that it's gonna drip in their eyes, but wet enough that it's gonna start lifting that glue. We wanna go straight up, not side to side. And you can see how the glue swells a little bit and becomes white. And we'll just slide right off of those lashes. So 
So make sure all the lashes are off before we remove the rod. Because you don't want to get it stuck on there and then pull their lash. Then using a wet Q-tip again, just give it a little roll to remove the shield. And make sure all the excess glue is removed from the lid. Making sure all the glue is removed from the lashes. Now, if you're not doing a tint with the service, you want to do a flesh of the eye, which I will show you in the tinting video. And then they're free to go. But we're going to do a tint after this, so I'm gonna wait till the very end.